MMA Boxing Talk here, coming at you with another video. Just want to put out a quick video. I um, I was just watching one of MMA Lou 23's videos. Um, great channel, by the way. Go subscribe to him. Uh, that's MMA Lou 23. He put out a short video talking about. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, he was talking about the fact that uh, like the reasons why the UFC would have McGregor Diaz rematch or Diaz McGregor two um, at one seventy, and the reason is. And it's looking like the fight will be at 170. Right now, the UFC, they have a verbal agreement for that fight. Uh, that's Diaz McGregor 2 at UFC 200. I mean, that would be huge. That would make that card and everything else would just be a bonus kind of thing, you know. And there's already Cain Velasquez, former champion. He's fighting Travis Brown, Ronda Rousey's boyfriend. who He's a big, he's a tough guy too. He's 6'7". Um, so that'll be a good fight, you know. Robbie Lawler should be on that fight. But anyway, this video is about uh, Diaz McGregor rematch at 170. The reason why, um, and MMA Lou 23 said this, and, and I agree, and it makes sense, you know, it, because if the whole thing is, is the fight's going to be at 170 for a couple reasons, okay? The first reason is that Conor McGregor wants to avenge his loss at 170, at this, like on the same. Um, on the same uh, terms as the original fight, you know what I mean. He doesn't want to have any excuses. He doesn't. He doesn't want to, you know, only fight Nate Diaz at one fifty five. Even though they're both natural one fifty fivers, he wants to fight this fight again at one seventy. Now, um, who knows what he's thinking? Maybe he has a game plan. I don't know. But you got to remember the circumstances in the first time was very weird, right? I mean, Nate Diaz didn't have a full camp. Conor McGregor was training for one fifty five. And then had to balloon up to 170. He didn't even get there. Um, he had like 10 days. I don't know what he weighed at that point when, when RDA pulled out. But he was like dieting very, you know, very uh, heavily at that point. Because, you know, 10 days out. Um, regardless of that. He wants to fight at 170. Um, and, you know, Diaz is going to have a full camp. Connor, you know, he's going to... Um, He's going to have more time to, you know, get used to uh, fighting at that weight and training at that weight. Um, but the reason is, you know, if Conor McGregor loses to Nate Diaz in the rematch, um, which, you know, could very well happen, if it's at 170, they can still spin it off. Um, Dana White can still spin it off. And, you know, I could, like MMA Lou said, at the press conference, at the podium, he's going to say, well, Conor McGregor lost two super fights, he lost, you know, two fights to, you know, a, a guy that, you know, or at a, at a weight class that was two divisions above, you know what I mean, nobody jumps up two divisions, nobody skips a division, um, so, you know, they're going to spin it off, and, you know, they'll still be able to sell that RDA fight, um, or, you know, an Edgar fight, or whatever, fighting for his 145 pound title, but if they make the fight at 155 and he loses, well, then they can't give him that RDA fight right after, right? If Conor McGregor loses the rematch to Nate Diaz, they can't just turn around and give him, oh, we're going to let you fight at the 155. We're going to let you fight the 155-pound champ even though you just lost to a 155-pound contender. So this way, if it's at 170, they can have that big fight. It's a big, big, huge financial money fight, especially at UFC 200. It's going to be even you know that much bigger financially because of that. But... Um, they can also, if McGregor loses, they can turn around and they can still make that RDA fight at 155. Um, but I mean, it's interesting stuff. You know, we're going to get another, we're going to get to see that fight again. Um, you know, obviously Nate Diaz, full camp. Um, this will be Nate Diaz's sixth fight at 170. This will be McGregor's second. Um, you know, McGregor's definitely going to have a better game plan. You know, you, you'd have to, you'd have to assume that. Um, you know, he definitely is a perfectionist. Uh, he will learn from his mistakes. I mean, the last time he got submitted, um, I think he, he had, he, he went on like a six year win streak. So, um, you know, I expect him to be a different fighter, a smarter fighter, but you know, he's still, um, you know, it's still gonna be tough to put Nate Diaz away. You know, there's no guarantee he's going to do that. Chances are, are slim to none. Um, I'm Nate Diaz, you know, the only time he's ever been stopped was, uh, I think it was like, it was to Jeremy Stevens, and there was a head kick involved. 
which I think really rocked Nate Diaz. So Connor used some more kicks. Um, and you know, basically though, his best game plan, to be quite honest, McGregor fighting Nate Diaz at 70, at 170 or at 155, is he basically has to outpoint him. You know what I mean? Um, he has to outpoint him. That's the smartest way. He's got to be on his toes, using his movement, um, not loading up on punches, you know, fighting smart. He wasn't fighting smart in that. But will he do that in the rematch? I don't know. Um, you know, that's what I'm, I assume he would do. He would correct the, uh, he would make the adjustments in the rematch. But time will tell. Um, that's going to be a great rematch, though. I mean, uh, it's it's crazy. I can't, I never saw this coming, you know, this fight. It's not official. They have a verbal agreement. UFC 200. The UFC needs this fight for UFC 200 to make UFC 200 UFC 200, you know, make it special, so, uh, yeah, it's gonna be really, really good, um, I can't wait to see the rematch, you know what I mean, and, uh, but yeah, that's basically it, I just want to put out a video basically talking about why, uh, the fight, they're, they're gonna have the rematch at 170, why it makes sense, financially, they can get two big fights, where if he loses to Nate Diaz at 155, he can't turn around and get that RDA fight, so, just want to put out a little video about that, um, so if you like the video, subscribe. That's it for this one. MMA Boxing Talk. Peace.